The Underrealm in Ashes of Creation is a vast network of underground tunnels and caverns set below the surface of Vera. These tunnels glow with bioluminescence, which tends to be the only source of light within these areas, with the exception of light that peeks through the cave openings. These entrances exist around natural geographic choke points above ground, allowing for an alternate routes for caravans, raid groups, and other player activity. But the Underrealm isn't just for caravans. This zone is where the ninth race of Vera resides, the Tolnar. During the fall of Vera, much of the population fled through the Divine Gateways, portals that took the residents of Vera to the non-magical world of Sanctus, but not everybody made it out alive. Eventually, the gateways closed and remained dormant for thousands of years, and those who did not make it out were stranded, fighting for their own survival. Some of these people perished, and some of them took to the Underrealm for refuge. As hundreds and thousands of years passed, the races that resided eventually evolved into what is known as the Tolnar today, some with a more mammal appearance, some with a beast-like appearance, and some with a reptilian appearance. And this is where the Tolnar will begin their journey if they choose in Ashes of Creation. Lore-wise, this is where they start, but you can really start in any starting zone you want, no matter which race you pick when the game launches, so some of you might not end up starting here. The Tolnar have built their own civilization within these caverns, and they are not one of those races who are returning from the Divine Gateways after all this time. They've been there, waiting underground for it to be safe for them to head back up to the surface once again. So although unconfirmed by Intrepid, I imagine that this area will be a bit more built up compared to those who are just returning to their ruined civilizations. There is no divine gateway, but you can expect that players will have a similar experience when it comes to starting zone, including quests, points of interest, and NPC hubs to get you going to that first node. And yes, there are nodes that can be developed within the Underrealm as well. And although these nodes may be adjacent to those on the surface, the Underrealm has completely different zones of influence that separate them from above ground, and all of those perks that come with nodes still apply. Underrealm nodes can be sieged, they can evolve into metropolises, and as they evolve, they will change up the surrounding areas, unlocking content, including unlocking more parts of the Underrealm to explore. Back in pre-Alpha 1, there was even talks of certain classes needed to clear pathways in order to gain access to the Underrealm, such as clerics cleansing a toxic poison that once blocked players from entering this zone. Seasons above the surface will have a direct impact on the Underrealm as well. Although it won't be snowing down in the tunnels, access can be blocked, or tunnels could be affected by things such as flooding due to the rain up on the surface. Node development will also unlock new entrances down into the Underrealm, some of which are said to be a bit more adventurous than others. Freeholds may also be placed in the Underrealm, and there will be different resources within these zones compared to those on the surface. Originally, the size of the Underrealm was expected to be roughly 100 square kilometers back before the map size was almost doubled, but there has been no word on if the size of the Underrealm has grown as well with the map size increases or if it has stayed the same. We haven't seen much in the way for creatures within this area though, you can expect some mushroom NPCs and some saber-toothed cats that have bioluminescent glows to them, like the environment around them. And in Alpha 1, there was a boss that resided in the Underrealm called Sorrow's Hunger as well. The Underrealm is by far one of the most interesting components of the world map that I am craving to learn more about. We have seen no in-game Tolnar models yet, no Tolnar architecture, that I imagine will be a combination of the race's architecture, just as the Tolnar themselves are a combination of the major race and although the Underrealm has been present since Alpha Zero, there is still very little information about this zone, and we have seen very little of it functioning within the game. Which I guess isn't surprising, it's something that I imagine Intrepid will keep quiet on, just as the Tolnar themselves, as it's probably one of the more unique areas within the world of Vera, and they want to leave some things up for surprise. I wouldn't be surprised if we even see minimal parts of the Underrealm within Alpha 2 as well, because I'm sure it's a very lore-heavy area, and something that Intrepid seems to be keeping very close to the chest. Are you excited to see the Tolnar in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.